Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 10 in the Certified Kubernetes Administrator, CKA Killer.sh exam simulation. This is a question number 10 and the task weight is 6 percentage. As usual, we'll use this co uh, command to switch context. And the question goes, create a new service account processor in the namespace project-hamster, create a role and role binding, both named processor as well. Um, these should allow the new service account to only create secrets and uh, config maps in the namespace. So all these are um, RBAC topics. Um, so first we create a uh, service account. So kubectl create service account, uh, service account named processor. And in the namespace, let's copy it. Project camps. Uh, even before executing the command, I'll, I'll verify if there is any service account with this name. Get SA in the namespace project hamster. Uh, I don't see anything with the name processor, so we're going to execute this. Verify it again. So processor is created four seconds back. So this account is created. Now we have to create a role and the role binding. Um, let's create the role now. kubectl um, create role. And the name of the role is processor and it has to be tied to the namespace uh, project hamster. And let us also check the help um for more options so so we have to use the verb um, that controls the operation on the resources so the verb we are going to use as create because as here it says uh, they should allow the service account only to create um, secrets and config maps. So the verb is create um, and, the, and the resource that we would be using um, would be secrets and config maps. So whether it's secrets or secret, um, we don't know, so you can use the kubectl API resources command to get that bit of information. Um, usually the first column indicates the resource names, so that's what uh, most of the commands use. It's going to print everything. So now we are interested in the secret. So it's secret. With the asset at its end, and let's see for config map. It's config maps, config maps, uh, lowercase. So resource is going to be secret, secrets, and comma, config maps. Uh, we'll check the help once again. Oops, uh, I think it has created. Oh, it didn't. Um, let's check the help again to see if they allow two resource. Yes, they do. Two resource separated by comma. They do allow. So it's, let's create them. Yeah, it says it's created. Let's verify that. Kubectl get um, role in the project hamster namespace. Uh, it's created, processor, processor created. Uh, let's describe this role. 
to see what it does. Uh, name is processor and the resource uh, is resources are config maps and secrets and the verbs create so it does look good. So we have created service account, uh, we have now created the roles. Um, now the one that is pending is the role binding. Let's create that. Um, you've got to create role binding. Um, this is again um, on the namespace project hamster. And uh, the name of the role binding should be processor as well. So we'll give that name. Um, I'll use the dash H option to print um, some help because um, the syntax for a regular user account and the service account uh, differs vastly. So Uh, we're not using cluster roles, all looks good so far. We are looking for the service account, and here's the syntax. So we have this is the syntax that we have to do, that we have to use. Let us copy this. Um, so, triple create role binding, role binding name, this processor. Um, uh, in the namespace it is given. So now we are going to supply with the service account for the binding. Uh, here it says namespace. So we are going to deal with the project dash hamster namespace and the service account is going to be the same. Service account is going to be a processor. Uh, let us just issue a dry run and print the AML to see what it does. Okay, we have to provide them with the role. So we are going to bind. Um, with the role named processor. Um, so we have to supply this role equal to processor. So role binding, kind role processor, it's a service account in the same space, and this is the service account name. Looks good. Um, so I'll just exclude the dry run option, create this, it says it's created. Now let's get the kubectl get role binding the project hamster namespace. It's created 12 seconds back. Um, let us now describe this. So it's service account a processor is um, in the project dash names uh, sorry project dash hamster namespace. Um, is there looks good. Now, so how do we verify this? Uh, we can use the kubectl auth command to See, can I, can I, can I create a secret uh, dash dash as? Uh, so again, the the syntax differs vastly for regular user in the the service account. So let us take some help. Um, we have to use dash dash as and then then uh, 
Okay, let us use documentation. Um, cube couple of can I using the service account? Here it is in the general discussions. We'll check for service account. Yeah. So this is what we have to use. Namespace colon. Um, the service account name. So. Um, so let us do this namespace we now project hamster so as you can name is processor so for some reason it says no uh, let me check again Let's see. Let us use this um, syntax as well. It's a colon. the same oh we forgot the namespace uh, namespace is project hamster ideally we are supplying it yeah so it, it says it is able to create secret. Let's check for the different namespace. So it, so this service account cannot create secret on a default namespace, which returns no. Um, let us see if it can also create config maps. It says yes. Um, let's say can create it on a default namespace, it says no. Um, let us also check uh, a different resource, which is not in our scope. No, so this is um, this is how you validate uh, the role that you have given to a service account is working as desired. Um, so that's, that's it for this question. Um, Thank you.